Riley Children's Health is leading a statewide effort to help Hoosier kids get the mental health care they need. Yeah, CBS 4's Kristen Escow joins us in the studio now to show us how they're working to come up with a long-term plan. Kristen. Well, Debbie and Bob, providers say demand for mental health services has remained much higher than before the pandemic started for both adults and children. Officials at Riley Children's Health estimate 300,000 Hoosier kids are suffering from a mental health condition, and as many as half of them aren't getting the help they need. Losing him was traumatic and devastating to all of us. Rachel Morris lost her husband suddenly in 2018. She immediately enrolled their three young children in grief counseling. This was a place where we could be open about it and we could talk about it and we could cry about it and nobody shied away from us. Now two and a half years after the start of the pandemic, counselors say they're seeing higher demand for mental health services for children. Teresa Braun runs the Indianapolis Grief Counseling Center, Brooks Place. But there were also families that experienced deaths of a loved one even prior to the pandemic, and the, the lack of social interaction just made it even worse. Braun says her wait list has grown to 100 people. Her center isn't the only one seeing higher demand for services. Gil Perry says the volume in Riley Children's Health has doubled since the start of the pandemic. We're at a uh, youth mental health crisis across the country, and Indiana is not immune to that. Perry is working with more than 100 other individuals and organizations to come up with a long-term statewide plan to address kids' mental health needs. He says the response is going to require state and federal funding and help from donors. What you can expect in this plan is a um, very community-based plan that really focuses on early intervention and in schools, and then looks at outpatient services to make sure we have enough capacity throughout the state um, and emergency stabilizations. Meanwhile, doctors encourage parents to check in with their kids to discuss how they're doing. That kind of conversation is very helpful. I think parents might notice uh, just it's just a change in behavior, really, that you're looking for. Now, in the short term, Riley Children's Health is using a $4 million federally funded grant to offer mental health services in pediatricians' offices. Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you.